back to my channel my name is melanie if you're new here welcome to my little lavender in this channel we talk about self-development getting your life together being your best self self-awareness finances asmr videos sometimes home decor self-care all that so if you're into any of that stuff please 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 subscribe and join the lovelies fam and yeah let's just get started with today's topic which is so i was just talking about um this topic with my cousin because she's thinking about transitioning and we had a lot of conversation about why exactly some people don't transition and how i've done it for so long and all of that and i thought why don't i just put this into a video because i've seen that as well the decline in natural hair and people wanting natural hair and wearing their natural hair out. i transitioned my natural hair when i was in high school i think i was in my senior year of high school so it's been seven years since i've had my curly hair transition phase and it's insane <laughs> that i've been seven years with curly hair um, when I was younger as well, I most of the time had very curly hair and would wear it out most of the time as well and i didn't start straining my hair till i was like seven or eight years old some of the biggest things that were really annoying when i was transitioning was the state of my hair my hair was pretty much straight and like just a tiny bit of curl because i had been before that straining my hair for like two years straight like every week religiously straightening it i don't think people understand the amount of willpower that it takes for you to transition especially because your hair goes through literally a transition from straight hair to curly hair and i didn't really do protective styles i still wore my hair out i looked crazy but it's fine because i did two big chops and after the second chop of hair my curly hair was good to go and it grew pretty much to this point right now but before that i had my hair pretty short for basically four of the seven years and then i'm growing it out now and this is kind of the length that it is now i definitely see the struggles in transitioning hair the first big thing is that not for everyone but for most people your hair will get knotty a lot of lot of knots because again it's transitioning it's not used to having curly hair this was just my experience um and you think that it's just because you have curly hair and it's just much easier to keep it straight but in reality it's not that it gets more knotty because of your natural hair it just it gets knotty because it's in a new phase and it doesn't understand what's happening but i promise you after you get out of that phase you'll have beautiful nice curls the second thing is also shaping your hair you can see right now that my hair is like in a triangle and i usually like more of like a circle shape i just haven't gone to get my hair cut and i really want to it can get costly i don't know honestly if it's as costly as straining your hair because a curly haircut can go up to 130 140 dollars with tip and that to me is insane if you're getting your hair straightened every it's like 25 dollars every week you also have to cut it it might be more curly hair products are expensive obviously you can go with the cheaper version of stuff but you do have to remember the cheaper that they are sometimes the more harsh product or chemicals that the the product has so you have to be very careful with what you put in your hair which is why i lean more towards 20 dollars 30 dollars products because i just see that it works better for my hair and also my hair just feels better it gets less knotty all of that it's very annoying to have to replenish that but you know maintenance i feel like there's so much more that you can do with curly hair than you can do with straight hair braids bun ponytails half up half down like there's just so much you can do and it's your natural hair and it's also like a self-confidence thing like you have to be confident enough to wear your natural hair not everyone likes their natural hair and that's completely fine natural 
it can get frustrating i have guilty i have straightened it a couple of times because i've just been annoyed with it a lot of the time that i've been annoyed with it is that it's um and i don't like washing my hair like every other day or wetting it every other day because it gets brittle but having it frizzy all the time is also super annoying and i know it correlates sometimes with products that you're using but sometimes it doesn't and it's just it's very annoying the last thing i will say about this curly hair transitioning tr the trial of products to figure out what concoction works with your hair is probably the most annoying thing with curly hair like in the seven years that i've transitioned with my hair there's still not like a right way that i make a concoction for my hair literally i just try i just try the things that work for my hair usually but i don't have like a set of products that i can say wholeheartedly these things work some things work for a season a lot of the time you have to like use things for like a month or two and then switch to something else because then your hair gets used to it there's a lot of trial and error in in, in those seven years on what works what doesn't work i will also just say don't force your hair to like something when it doesn't like something it doesn't like it they're saying products of the same line the same line just different things like one is a, a leave-in conditioner one is a mask for whatever reason i don't know what what's the difference the mask does not work for my hair but the leave-in conditioner does the same line the same smell the same everything and one works and the other one doesn't i don't question it too much i just don't use it because it it can get costly trying on new products and sometimes they work and sometimes they doesn't me and my sister have the same hair texture and there's some products that work for her hair that won't won't work for my hair so even if you're looking at my hair and you're thinking about the products that i use i'll leave all the products that i use down below but you look at the products that i use and you think that they'll work for your hair because we have the same texture they might not and then the saddest of them all is when they discontinue a product that you loved that you loved curl girl or girl curl something like that hair mask it was kind of like minty the best the best the best mask i've tried i've tried for my hair and i'm pretty sure they discontinued it and that my friends is how 2020 has destroyed itself i don't know if that made you want to <laughs> transition it probably didn't but um this is the reality of having curly hair but there are a lot of upsides to having your hair curly maintenance is pretty low honestly compared to straight hair when i had straight hair i would have to straighten it all the time because it would get puffy and frizzy so maintenance is super low um your hair grows much stronger quicker it just looks better i think it suits me so much more better than straight hair i still like my straight hair i just i think curly hair suits me more any benefits to just having your natural curly hair but it does take a lot of work it does take a lot of care and yeah transitioning can take a long time but um once you go through the transition phase and you get to the other side it's pretty straightforward so yeah if you guys like this content definitely let me know like and subscribe all that fun jazz and i'll see you in the next one adios